I was going to leave you alone for this month and just spend it on my boat up at Lake Ponderay in North Idaho, a mountain lake where ospreys soar and where I feel at peace. But Governor Rick Perry of Texas, possibly the nation's next president, has shocked me out of my mountain reverie. I'll take a pass on the, on the Federal Reserve right at the moment, to be real honest with you. A few days ago, Governor Perry said in campaigning in Iowa that it would be something akin to treason for the head of the Federal Reserve Board, Professor Ben Bernanke, to print more money between now and Election Day. That, said Governor Perry, would only reduce the purchasing power of Americans. Now, I like Governor Perry. I agree with him on almost every social issue. But may I respectfully offer him a lesson in economics? This economy is stuck in a cruelly slow recovery from a recession that started on Bush 43's watch. Mr. Obama, a likable man, is trying to get the economy moving again. Chairman Bernanke, who has made many mistakes at the Fed, is also trying desperate measures to get the economy moving again. One of the measures the Fed is using is to increase the money supply, or what Governor Perry would call printing money. Typically, this is a helpful move, although it hasn't been lately. It's not a radical move. It's not anywhere near a treasonous move. It's not at all clear that in an economy as weak as ours, creating more money would cause inflation. The idea is to make money cheaper so businesses will borrow and then invest. Frankly, once again, it hasn't worked so far, but it is an orthodox classic move. It's a move by a man, Chairman Ben Bernanke, who wants to help his country recover. To call Chairman Bernanke a patriot doing his best for his country treasonous is a serious mistake. <laughs> Governor Perry is new to national politics, but he's in a way a star, and I could see him someday in the Oval Office. I hope he'll get some moderation in his speech and some lessons in economics and soon.